So if you don't know anything about anything, the leader in North Korea at this time, post-war, is Kim Il-sung. And you still hear his, his grandson now is in charge of North Korea. But at this time, I'm going to the book. After the war, Kim Il-sung made it his first order of business to weed out foe from friend. He started at the top with potential rivals for leadership. He disposed of many of his comrades in arms who had led the struggle from Manchuria to unseat the Japanese, Japanese occupiers. He ordered the arrest of the founding members of the Communist Party in South Korea. They had been invaluable during the war. Now that they'd served their purpose, they could be discarded. Throughout the 1950s, many more were purged in what was increasingly coming to resemble an ancient Chinese empire with Kim Il-sung, the unchallenged master of the realm. Kim Il-sung then turned his attention to ordinary people. In 1958, he ordered up an elaborate project to classify all North Koreans by their political reliability ambitiously seeking to reorganize an entire human population. The North Koreans were methodical to a fault. Each person was put through eight background checks. Your Song Bun, as the rating was called, took into account the backgrounds of your parents, grandparents, and even second cousins. The loyalty surveys were carried out in various phases with inspiring names. Intensive guidance by the central party was the first announced phase. The classifications became more refined in subsequent phases, such as the Understanding People Project between 1972 and 1974. So those things to me, they all sound like just bad movie plots, right? The in... in Intensive guidance by the central party. That's something you don't want to mess with. <laughs> and here's how they would be. Here's what life was like. A little bit of life. People would be closely watched by their neighbors. North Koreans are organized into what are called in Minban, literally people's groups. Cooperatives of 20 or so families whose job it is to keep tabs on one another and run the neighborhood. The Inmin Ban have an elected leader, usually a middle-aged woman who reports anything suspicious to higher-ranking authorities. It was almost impossible for a North Korean of low rank to improve his status. 